Welcome to my 2017 International Conference on Robotics and Automation Spotlight presentation on deep learning features at scale for visual place recognition. This research was a result of a collaboration between the Australian Centre for Robotic Vision based at QUT and the University of Adelaide and was led by postdoc Tao Chen who is now at ETH Zurich. The overall goal for this research is to create a universal localization capability for self-driving cars, for robots that operate in the domestic home and in our workplaces and factories, and even for humans as they go about their business in their everyday environments. Our particular focus has been on solving this problem using cameras, focusing in on the problem of visual place recognition. There are a number of reasons why we think this is an attractive approach. First of all, we have proof of concepts all around us. Most natural systems rely on vision predominantly to navigate and localize in their environment. And cameras have a number of technological advantages. They're compact, they're relatively low weight. They provide a very rich sensory snapshot of the environment, typically require relatively low power, and they're cheap and ubiquitous given their incredible improvement over the past decade. The problem of visual place recognition, a key component of localization and navigation is simply the problem of looking at the current image that your camera on your robot or drone or self-driving car is receiving and comparing it to images that you have stored in your database or your map of the world and calculating whether it's a familiar place that you recognize or whether it's a new place uh, that you should add to your database. For a more comprehensive review of visual place recognition, I would refer you to our recent IEEE Transactions on Robotics survey paper on visual place recognition. Using cameras, of course, is no panacea, and it involves a number of significant challenges. One of these challenges is the challenge of appearance change, brought on by the fact that environments in the world are constantly changing over both short time scales such as you would see from day-night cycles, from varying weather conditions, and also longer term changes such as inherent structural change in the environment and the passing of seasons. These problems are significant and make the problem of visual place recognition quite challenging. A second major challenge for visual place recognition techniques is the problem of viewpoint change. The fact that a robot or a drone or a human may revisit a place from a very different perspective traveling along a different route and yet still require the capability of recognizing it is in that same place. Unfortunately, for real robotic systems, they often encounter both problems simultaneously. So both appearance change in the environment and viewpoint change. And this creates an incredibly difficult problem that must be solved if robots are ever to be universally deployed across environments at all times. Not surprisingly, because of the importance of this problem, it has received a lot of attention, especially over the last few years. Increasingly, attempts to solve this problem have focused on using one of the most topical techniques, that is deep learning. And there have been a number of approaches using various deep networks to try and solve this problem. Initially, most of the work in this field sensibly used off-the-shelf pre-trained networks, but in this work and also some parallel work by other groups, people have started to try and train these networks specifically for the task of recognizing particular places in an environment. Now, deep networks are notorious for needing a lot of training data. So for this work, Zetao cultivated at great expense a 2.5 million image data set specifically for training systems for place recognition. This was a subset of the much larger AMOS data set and had all of the useless or corrupted uh, images uh, curated and removed in order to create a clean training data set. To test the performance of the trained network, we evaluated it on four benchmark data sets. The Nordland train data set at the top left the Einsham data set from Oxford University at the top right, and the St. Lucia and Gardens Point data sets at the bottom left and bottom right. We chose benchmark data sets that exhibited a range of variation in appearance change and viewpoint change. Testing consisted of two traverses of the test environment. Uh, first, 
training traverse or learning traverse and then a second traverse where the system attempted to reconcile images it saw against the first traverse of the environment. We used a relatively standard deep net architecture. The training set of two and a half million images, half of it was used for training. There was a smaller validation set and we used two primary approaches, a system called AMOSnet where the network was trained from scratch and a system called HybridNet where the top five convolutional layers were initialized from CafeNet. In the paper, you can see detailed performance results across all four testing benchmark data sets, as well as some more detailed analysis. To give you an overview here, we found that in general, training the networks improved the place recognition performance to be above state of the art of existing networks, as well as existing conventional place recognition systems. And you can see an example of the degree of perceptual change and viewpoint change encountered during the gardens point data set, which had both viewpoint change and appearance change. We had a number of insights and observations. We tried a number of different pooling techniques, which resulted in varying performance. We also surprisingly found that the networks trained from scratch, AMOSnet, performed worse than HybridNet, which was fine-tuned from CafeNet. We think this may not be necessarily a shortcoming of the network per se, but rather a product of the fact that the two and a half million da image data set that we presented did not have a lot of viewpoint change in it. So it was primarily training for appearance invariance. Despite this, the overall systems had surprising viewpoint invariance during the tests, uh, which was a nice unexpected benefit. If this sort of work, whether machine learning, brain inspired, or using traditional robotic vision techniques is of interest to you, please come and chat or get in contact with us. We have a number of ongoing postdoc and PhD positions available. And that concludes this short spotlight talk from ICRA 2017 on deep learning features at scale for visual place recognition. I would encourage you to investigate the paper and get in touch if you have any questions or wish to continue this research. Thank you very much.